If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Ugart to check out. Uh, with this card, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is... A controlled lengthy player on a shadow chemistry style, right? So four star weak foot, high, high work rate, six foot tall with the card. Um, obviously, the pace being at an 89, 90 is not that big of a deal. Lengthy pushes the pace out of the card a little bit more. But obviously, it's mainly like the AI stuff that I kind of rely on the, on the most because with this card, his shooting is not as crazy high. Will I still see if I can get some goal scoring opportunities with him? Sure. You know, I'll be using him in the 4 3 3 formation, playing in the left center mid position. Um, it's a tactic that we are going to be putting out for the review. So just check the channel for that. It'll, it'll be in like the formation tactic playlist. Um, shooting on the cards in a lower area, probably a card you want to keep on like a stay back while attacking, cover center type role for the most part. But hey, if you use him as a cover center and you let him do his thing, it may not be bad. Why? Because he has Tiki Taka Plus, which, by the way, is very helpful with general movement around the 18-yard box, just outside the 18-yard box. So very good stuff there. Uh, passing stats in a very good area, right? Vision, short passing, long passing, all in very solid spots. Obviously, his dribbling is on the lower side with a 76 for agility, 75 for balance. Could you technically go in the direction of giving him an engine chemistry style? Yes, but at this point, the meta... For the meta, he'll be a little bit on the lower side when it comes to pace. So I think a shadow to boost the pace out of the card is going to be a more ideal situation, especially since you give him those defensive boosts, considering the fact that he also has that intercept plus on the new card, right? Physical capabilities, he is working with some pretty decent areas too. It's just the jumping that's going to be on the lower side. So not a bad card to get if you want to get a nice little cheeky link between players like Quates and Mbappe, right? You know, obviously the PSG links and uh, Quates, if, you know, Sporting can go the distance, would definitely be a really cool thing to work with because Ugart used to be a player for Sporting. So Sporting fans are cooking with a card like this being released. But yeah, we'll be trying him out in the midfield position. We will see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Good goal. What a goal. Good attacking play. Very nice. Ah, I dribbled too much with him there. Oh, definitely should be mine. It's a good challenge there. Let's go, Ugart. Oh, man. It would have been a nice play, too. But they're offside. Unlucky. Oh, we're still good. Let's go. Oh, we Ugart. I'll take it, bro. Good. Need that reach in there. Here, Trouda, that's how you say his name. Oh, that would have been such a good play, man. I probably should have sweat that too. Oh, 
War a war a goal, man. War a goal. This formation. This formation, bro, is is so much fun on the attack. Oh my goodness. I don't I haven't scored a goals like this since Div 10's 4132, the first one. Oh my goodness. Attacking AI is so much fun. That was a foul anyways. We did get the... Oh. 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 Foul again. No, I was about to say. Go oh, Ugart. Ugart helped me out a lot there, actually. First time. Switch the play. Beauty. I'd like to see, boys. I think an intercept should be working there. It's kind of weird. I like it. Didn't go exactly to where I intended. You guys can see who I try to pass that to, but it worked out. to get that yeah you have the trade my boy definitely for sure let's go guys good stuff good stuff good stuff oh and i thought i timed that perfectly I mean, a body type helps for the defensive stuff, but it's when I have to dribble and like move with him that it like irritates me. Let's go, guards. Way to push in, my boy. Good stuff. Oh, thank goodness, man. Thank goodness. Oh. Skolgarth. Oh, Ugart, Ugart, good stuff, boys. Oh, there's no way. Body to body. Doesn't register my pass. Oh, we're good. I definitely got to work with his dribbling a little bit for sure. Nice. Now I have to do this here. Beauty. And Ugard gets to it. Let's 
Good job, Ugart. Okay. Uh, we're good. Bunch of randomness, but we got it eventually. Move it in. There you go. Oh, I love it. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the FS Academy midfielders Ugart. So... A couple things noticeable with this card, guys, right? When it comes to general movement across the pitch, giving him a lengthy while working with the pace on the card is helpful because it actually pushes the pace out of the card when you're manually using him, which is nice because since he's a six foot tall player with interceptions at a 99 on a shadow chemistry style, the fact that you can work with the intercept plus in a lot of defensive situations while receiving possession of the ball is really nice to work with. I will say that with the way that this card performs in game, we did for fun use him in the center mid position as a card that could potentially basically go everywhere, right? The main thing is that on the attack, the agility and balance is a little bit too noticeable, right? So players like Bruno Fernandes, those guys are always going to be ideal in both the attack and defense. And Bruno Fernandes is absolutely incredible in comparison, right? But this card, if you keep him on the role of stay back while attacking cover center, and you play him in that side position, or let's say, for instance, you want to play a 4-2-3-1, bracket two, and you're playing him as your left center defense mid because most of the dominant CDMs in that formation are right-footed, right? You could totally do that as well. So as a selection for the midfielders, these guys are the ones that don't have as many crazy meta options. So Ugar is providing you those links in your team while still being a very solid option in game is great. If you were playing in like division, I think it was two or one on this account. I think you guys will see in the highlights from the from like the 433 tactic video. Um, but you know, Ugart was doing, and this is from season reset, I'm pretty sure, right? Wasn't it season reset recently? I think it was. I think it was. Um but yeah, no, still a solid option for sure. Uh, these cards are not as meta to work with as some other options. You know, it's not going to be better than a card like Sawar, Bruno Fernandes. But for a card that's going to provide provide you those links to the PSG players and the Uruguayan players, depending on the type of team that you want to build, it's going to be a meta enough card. He's going to he's going to perform well enough for you in the game for how the game generally performs. Like I said, I played him as a center mid for a card that could attack sometimes, could defend sometimes. Tiki Taka plus and intercept really cool to work with in the midfield setup. It's it, for a 4-3-3 especially, it's very, very nice. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. Look at the play styles, right? Sly Taco, Bruiser, and first touch. A bruiser with the lengthy, also very noticeable in gaming. You guys can see that from some of the highlights as well. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.